Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're doing very well. So, as you can see from the title, today we're here to discuss how to make a conversion from either Stepmania slash Eterna to Osumania. Super, super simple. Uh, to start off, I want to show you how to do it file by file and then how to sync it up correctly. And then I'll get on to more complex ways to convert up to 15 at a time. Uh, it's still going to take roughly the same time because you still have to sync them but uh, it does make things a lot easier. So, you're gonna need three things. You're gonna wanna have OS open. This is the most useful part here, it'll save you some time. And the next thing is, if it will let me, I'll open it later. Um, you're gonna need this release folder. So this is a program called Raindrop. Uh, I'm gonna post a link in the description on where to download it. So essentially all we're gonna really be paying attention to in this folder is the convert Osumania Windows batch file. So essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your Stepmania file and you're gonna drag it on there. It's gonna spit out an Osu converted uh, file. And then we're gonna take all the contents that we need into the Osu songs and we're gonna make the file. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to open Os. We're gonna keep this open obviously. And we are now going to search for a any Eterna song. Does not matter. I uh, will just randomize it here. Um, I already have these converted, so it might give complications. But uh, RAR2. So we have a, a file here called uh, Follow Tomorrow. So you're going to open it up. This is a completely non OSU file. So you're going to drag the .sm into this folder. Next step, you're going to drag it into the Osumania batch file. You can close this right away. As you can see, we have a follow tomorrow. Same thing, but as you can see, the type is Osu file now. So that's awesome. It's done. Your hard work is over. So what you're going to do with that is you're going to cut, which is Control X. Um, for those of you who don't know, you're going to go over to your Osu songs folder. You're going to proceed to make a new folder doesn't matter what the name is and you paste it into your new folder now along with that you're going to use your background and your mp3 or .ogg that you find in the file that you're trying to convert and you're all set so what you're going to do now is you're going to head over inside here and you're all good here it is now if you were in the song selection it would ask you to press F5 and you'd get the same result so here we go we have this file now it's probably not Synced. So how do you sync it, Sean? Well, make sure you have your volume is rather high, and you have your effects all the way up, because that's that's the most important part. You want to make sure you're hearing the start of the sound, or the start of whatever you believe the first note is, um, along with the hit sound, so you know it's on sync. So I usually slow it right down to 25%. Gives me a little bit uh, easier time, so you can hear. The dan dan, it's it's a bit off. It's about one of these off. So what we're gonna do is uh, let's turn this up a little bit. So one last time, 25% playback. So it sounds quite a bit off. Now to you will always have. Um, these will always be a little too late. They're never going to be too early. These notes will never be coming too early before the sounds happen when you're converting with this program. So you're always going to be using a negative number. So to adjust this, you're going to go to timing and you're going to move all notes in time. Now normally, you will never see anything above negative 60 that you're going to have to edit. It's usually 20, 40, or 60. Those are the increments that I use. Just try to get as close as you can. So this sounds like a negative 60 to me. So as soon as I press enter on this, you're going to see these notes shift. They shifted about half of a measure, or whatever you want to call this, half of a fourth or eighth measure. So let's listen again. Sounds a little bit closer. So let's give it a little test here.
think it's uh, very rarely. It, it sounds like it needs to be uh, negative 80. So what I'm going to do is just continue adding negative onto these until I feel satisfied with this lining up with the sounds. It looks way better. So all we covered on this was using negative numbers and move all notes in time in order to adjust those notes to where we are satisfied enough to where that lines up. So that's it. Uh, one more step you're going to want to take here. Um, when you're converting, you are going to be dealing with many files that have multiple BPMs. Now, when you're dealing with that, you're going to have SVs in the conversion, which is ridiculous. Um, the only thing you have to do is just delete all of them but the first one. So, for example, let's see if I can find a file that has a lot of BPM. So, let's convert one more. So, I'm going to do the same thing I did before. I'm going to access my release. Now, usually, high 19 files have a ton of BPM changes. So, I'm going to look there first. Um, I know his. Piano ones have a lot. So, for example, this one, like I do before, I'm just going to drag this in here. I'm going to convert. There it is. I'm just doing it rather quickly since you've already seen it. Boom. And boom. So, we have our file, right? So if you're dealing with multiple BPMs, which I'm confident that this most certainly will be, as you can see from up top, you got a timing panel. Now you see all these BPMs. So this is definitely going to be rather difficult um, just looking at it. You're like, hey, how am I going to fix this? Oh my gosh, I'm stressed out. Now the magical thing about OSU for some reason is it will stay on sync if you delete all of the BPMs except the first one. So whatever it is, just leave it at the first BPM and click OK. And just make sure your file is synced. So we'll sync this one as well. So you can hear it's a little bit off. So I'll use negative 20 works in this case. Sounds just about synced. So I'll play it real quick and you'll come to notice that there's no there's no speed variations, there's no speed ups, it's very, very smooth. Super simple, super easy. It, it doesn't make any sense how you can delete all the BPMs and the song is going to be okay. But thankfully in Osu Mania, that is no longer a problem. So, you've learned how to convert a file. You've learned how to convert two of them now and how to sync the BPM. You are incredible. If you can keep up with my fast speaking, I'm sure you've replayed this many times, but if you've made it this far, great job. So now I'm gonna show you a much easier way to do it that I've just found out a couple days ago, playing around with it. So the way that I convert my packs really as fast as I believe they can be converted is actually pretty simple. So what we're gonna do, um, we're gonna take any pack we want. Uh, for example, we'll take a German dumb mini pack. I'm gonna paste this on my desktop so I don't ruin this one. So we have an entire pack. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna search by .sm. So now you have access to all the Stepmania files. So what you're gonna do now is you're going to right click one of them. You're gonna open with, and you're gonna search choose another app. You're going to find your convert Osumania batch file that's in the raindrop folder, and you're going to select that as what you're going to be opening this with. So you click it, boom, it spits it out. Now, the magical thing about this is if you hold control and you click, you can click roughly up to 15, I believe, without it messing up, but I'll just do this page for now. I press enter, boom, they're all converted. Close the command prompt out. I can do it again. Boom. So now, what you can do is you can delete all of these SMs. Delete them just like that. And now every single file that was in this pack has an OSU file extension. So now all you simply have to do is open up OS. You're going to copy all of these things that you just converted. I usually cut 
uh, and you're gonna head over to your Osu songs folder and you're just gonna paste them in. Super, super simple. They still need to be synced, so there's going to be some time taken to complete this conversion process. But this is as simple as I've seen it get. So I just press F5 and set it up. Now I usually search by date added just to make sure that everything I put in was added correctly. So some of the files in here are named uh, Boombox. We got Boombox. We don't have Boombox. Okay. One more F5. There we go. Okay. So at the bottom, these are all of the German dump packs that we just, or songs that we just converted. As you can see, Boombox is probably somewhere around here. She's somewhere out there. But uh, here's all the files that we converted. So you would just have to go in and you would have to change the sync by using the uh, negative numbers I showed you guys. And that's seriously it. That's seriously uh, as complex as it gets. So you can either convert one at a time if you're just looking for a special file, or if you are looking to convert several packs, that's as easy as it gets. Um, I'd say if you do it really, really well, converting maybe a 50 song pack can take maybe a half an hour at max. So it's it's a little time consuming, but you get tenfold of what you put in, uh, especially for great packs, which are many on uh, Eterna. So I hope this was simple enough to follow. Please leave a comment. If it wasn't, uh, I'll answer any comments if there are any questions. Uh, and that is simply it. If you guys want to see any other weird tutorials in rhythm game related things and I'm, and I'm educated in them, I'll break it down. Super, super fun. Uh, it's easy to do. And I would love to see a lot of conversion uh, going on for Osu that I don't have to personally do since I seem to be doing most of it. So hopefully this video helps you guys out. So you guys have an incredible day slash night. Thank you.